This is the trophy guide for the worthy trophy. It will also simultaneously unlock the other side. Your first step is to make sure that you already have completed unlocking the other side campaign level. To do that, you have to follow the instructions for collecting crabs in different locations in the Lost to Echoes campaign. I'll assume that you've already done that part, but if you haven't, please consult the trophy guide. Now let's look at the worthy trophy. All right, let's go to the other side. All right, here we go. So as you load in, you're presented with three crystals. All you need to do is just drive forward. All right. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna stop here and I'll just talk you through what's happening. Essentially, we have three directions that we can go in. We've got right, so east, left, west, and then north. At the other side of this big shiny uh, dome, there is a north as well. So there are three crystals that we need to break, and that sort of unlocks a middle portal that's in underneath this shiny dome in the center. However, we're going for the worthy trophy which requires we hit some other buttons that are inside of the different levels. So I'm only going to show you the what to do for the worthy trophy. You'll naturally get the other side trophy by completing the worthy trophy. So we've got three directions and it doesn't matter which order we do them in. We can just pick our preference. Now today I'm going to do the one on the right, so east first. So you just follow the path along here first. There we go. And as you get to this portal, it'll transport you. Okay, here we go. So here's our first challenge, which is just to get through. So not too challenging. Here we go. Now this is sort of our first puzzle. Um, this is very sort of Destiny Vault of Glass like. And what's happening is there's this crab ahead of us and it has two things in its arms and we can rotate them by hopping on these panels. And once it's pointing inwards, I'm going to press reset. And then I'm going to go across to the other portal. And once this one is facing towards the other one, I'm going to press reset again. Kill. Now, that joins them together and activates a purple jump pad. Now, you would think that we're going to go up through the middle, but we're not. This is one of the things we're going to do a little bit differently for the worthy achievement. Here we go. Now, I didn't quite get up there. I just didn't do enough speed. And uh, let me... I'll get it right this time. That's a bit better. So you can see what I'm trying to do. And as we land, I'm just going to do a little flip. Here. Lovely. We'll just do one more to clear our boost cooldown there. And here we go for another checkpoint. Alright, now this one's one of the first bits that we have to do that's timed. So it requires a fair amount of skill to do this one. Now this one's, we just have to do it quickly. So what we're doing is we're jumping panel to panel and even I make mistakes at this so if this is your first time this might take you an hour or more but uh, once you get good at it you usually get it in two or three tries and I've seen people can speed run this level so see this see what I'm doing Whoop. 
Nitronic Crush. It's close, but not quite right. So here we go again. Go. Lovely. So we've got another checkpoint here. And this is another timed achievement. Uh, a timed. Okay, so I went over that one too fast. <laughs> As you go over this this uh, switch, just don't hold that one like I just did. And all we're doing is we're just proceeding along here. Yeah. Um, and at first glance, it'll seem like you're not exactly sure what to do. But if you just follow the line that I'm taking here, it's uh, it's really not too bad. Whoa. Still got it. Now, you notice as I got close to that wall, the barrier came up. The barrier, you cannot cannot hit the barrier. It, uh, it will disintegrate your car. So as you touch that, you'll watch as the crystal disappears. So that's one of the crystals that we needed. Now you might be temp tempted to go through the portal, but it's actually harder to go that way. So I actually press reset here and I go back to this bit. And we're gonna just take a slightly different path now. Fire. You see, every time I hit this switch, the level just spawns in, so we're all good here. Nice try! There we go. So, slightly different path this time. So, what we're aiming for is the little island down here. All we need to do is just land on the front of it, in front of that crystal. And as we touch just here, it'll turn into a different portal. And it's a little bit confusing as you come out of the first portal because we're, it's actually, we've just come out of the one we went into. It's not, it almost looks like we spawned back at the beginning of the level, but we haven't. We're, we've just come out of the one that we entered earlier. Okay, so all I'm going to do is proceed to the right, to the next one. Remember there are three different parts, so we're, we've just completed one, and now we're going to number two. <clears throat> this one's north, um, or fire, depending on. Basically what happens, I'll sh I might as well show you, as you hit the button, um, a big firewall starts proceeding all the way towards you and will eventually kill you. Um, as I press respawn there, you see the firewall went back, allowing us to reactivate the button. So what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to go the opposite way from the firewall. And if you follow my path, you'll be okay. So here's our sort of first button. I'm just going to hop up on this wall here and then flip myself around. I'm going to boost up this wall and I'm going to hold L1 to get up from here. I'm going to leap off of this and the goal okay. I over boosted then so this, I'm going a little bit slow but our goal is to get onto the building that I'm on right now so that's all okay. Um, I'm just going to go around the corner here and you'll see this button that's the one we needed. It's like there's a couple of secret ones that you need to get. So, you, but if you follow this path, you'll be right. Okay. And it takes a few times to learn this path, but once you know it, you, you probably never forget it. 
see, we're getting close to the fire, but it's not really a concern. As long as you're moving about the pace that I am, you'll be right. So I've just leapt onto this building. I'm going to hold L1 as I come around the corner. Unfortunately, I've made a mistake, so I'm going to restart. Hmm. And we can try this as many times as we like. So there's no real penalty. Although we have to complete the individual trial in a certain amount of time, we don't need to do the entire level in a certain amount of time in order to get the trophy. Lovely. Good. Okay, that's better. Very good. So that was a little bit faster. Very good. follow the same path I did before and hopefully we do it right this time. I'm leaping onto this building. And this is the one we needed to get to. Wonderful. Now we're going for this high one first. When we hit the one below us just here um, the bottom will drop out, so you have to sort of jump and then sort of rotate your car yeah. like that. Now, this is the only place that you can't die, because if you do, it will reset <laughs> and you won't be able to get to the worthy achievement, so uh, otherwise you'll have to restart the level. So don't die from here on onwards. Okay. We'd need to hit this button on the way past. Beautiful. Oh. Now, luckily, I've hit the correct button, so we should be okay. Now. So I'm going back the same way I came. So that button that I just hit was a timed one, and it sort of sinks down into the lava if you don't hit it in time. Okay, now second switch, and this time we're going to go through the portal. So we didn't do that the first time, this portal we need to go through. Alright, <clears throat> so that's two of the crystals. We have one crystal left, and it's probably the easiest one uh, if, you've, if you follow the way that I've just done them in order. Um, I found the fire one to be the trickiest when I first began playing. Um, the platforming one uh, east was sort of okay, but this one's quite easy, I think. So what you do is you hit the first panel on this and then you don't really need to hit the other panels. And we're in low gravity now um, as we went through this one. So all you need to do is hit the first one and then you hit this one and the, this big wall comes down. Perfect. Now we're just going to proceed. And it doesn't really matter how you get to the next checkpoint from here. I like to go underneath though because it's just a little bit quicker and, um, and cool. You see, it, with low gravity, there's really, it's it's exceptionally easy to play this this section because of the low gravity. So as I went through there, um, the next achievement that we need, uh, sorry, unlockable, should we say, is you see those floating, um, that floating cylinder up there. That's sort of where we need to get to. Now remember, you have low gravity, so you can getting there's you can do it without any boost if you wanted to. Um, we're going to use boost, of course, because it's a bit easier. First thing I'm going to do 
is just get myself on the roof of the building that I'm on. So it doesn't really matter how I do this. All I'm doing is I'm proceeding to the right there. So there's really, I can't really make any mistake. It's uh, because of the low gravity. Just need to clear my boost. So I'm going to do a little trick or two. I'm going to continue on. Here I go. This is the final one. You can see there's a big switch on top of this one. That's how you know it's the one that we're after. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not even using my boost, just, just L1 grip. There we go, a door has been unlocked. That's exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna reset. Land here and proceed forward. So these things sort of blow you into the wall, shall we say? And you can time, um, you can time to get just get past them. Sort of park there, wait for this first one to go. Boost. Now, if I'd stopped a little bit before that last one, I would have been right. Sometimes I find these things too difficult and I can eat. There is a way to just go around them. Um, you can sort of come under here. Access um, show you. This first one, obviously you need to hit this switch in order to open that door. But we might as well just proceed through. Oh no, I'll show you, I'll show you. So you just leap onto this wall. So what we did is we just went past them all. I'll show you. They're all still there. There we go. Now, as you, I went through that portal, if we turn around now and just proceed all the way back, uh, there's this is our next secret to get to. Now again, we're under no time pressure. Um, this is all about the platforming, so it doesn't really matter if we crash or anything like that. So as you get on this panel, just sort of face your car to the right. I'll shoot you up and then just use boost to sort of land yourself here. Great. Ugh, that was totally my fault. Let's do it again. <laughs> I'm just gonna hop on the wall and drive down again. So I'm just driving downwards here. Um, it's really not as complex as I make it, making it look here. So just go past that first uh, rotating red panel. Um, as you come through here, I like to hop yeah. up the wall. Yeah. Go the side. And just keep going through. Sweet. It's, um, All right. I'm just going to go through this one as well. There we go. And that reveals the third switch. I'm going to go through here. Now you can follow this through, but I, I honestly never do that. I just sort of go around them. See, it's, it's actually a little bit easier just to go around them than to actually deal with the puzzle itself, I think.
because of the low gravity, it's really, it is really easy to just, you can do whatever you like in these sections. It's low gravity. It's just almost no time pressure. And we're just aiming to get up there. Just remember we've got our boost and our grip fly. Just land myself here and drive through. Now, unlike the first time we saw this puzzle, this time we do actually need to hit each one. And you'll be tempted to do it fast, but don't because you sort of have to just go at the pace that these panels are turning. So I'm just going to press jump and then boost, land on it. You can see it's activated now. Next one's ready for me. I'll bounce across. Now don't go too fast. Nice and slow. Next one. Next one, whoa, now I was a bit too slow there, so it shot me off. I'll do it one more time. Oops. Too bad. Ugh. It's terrible when you do this in front of people and fail, so. But this this is very close to the end. We we're really under no time pressure at all. all right. Okay, and now we land on the final pillar, and you'll see the door come down. Beautiful, next checkpoint. checkpoint. You might as well follow this around. Next checkpoint. checkpoint. It's one of the last switches we're gonna hit. You're gonna land on this switch. There you go. Now as that comes out, you just sort of boost your way into it. <laughs> there you go. just drive forwards and of course the same thing will happen that happened before except now it will reveal the portal in the middle so we're just going to fly over beautiful and we'll go through the portal now this is a gravity puzzle so you see the air is red which pushes you down and then it disappears and then it comes back and it's the same interval every time. So as long as you can, don't jump out when it's red, jump when it's clear. So our first thing that we need to get to is um, show over to our left from our spawn, just up there. And we have wings in this section, so nice and easy. So I've just reset myself because I've I hit the switch, that's fine. I'm gonna wait for the red to clear and then I'm gonna to jump to the next pillar. Here we go. While it's red, I'm gonna back up, drive forwards, and I'm gonna skip this pillar and just go straight in. This is where we're this is exactly where we wanted to go. This is very close to unlocking the worthy achievement trophy. Okay, nearly there. Now, I'm just going to fly my way in. The elders deem you worthy. Now, if you uh, haven't already unlocked the worthy trophy, that's when it would unlock. As you drive through, what we need to do is touch the crown the back here. So I'm going to drive through the vault all the way to the back here and then just touch the crown. There we go. And now I'm going to press reset. Epic fail. And I'm going to continue the level as normal. So we're pretty close to the end of the level. You don't actually need to complete the level from here if you've already got the other side trophy. complete the level, 
We just have to do a little bit more platforming. Not very much. We're very close to the edge. At the end here. This is the final one. And from here on in, we don't need to worry about the red. Just proceed up to this crab. Transport us one more time. This is basically the end. Um, and in this section, you also have wings. So you don't need to fly exactly like I am. <laughs> and just use these boxes. Fly up on them if you wish. Okay, here we go. We've made it. And just jump up to that little crab. Okay. Once you get up to it like I've just done, your car will respawn. And that's it. Uh, were the tro trophy completed? The other side complete.